Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanna say thank you so much to all my subscribers and thank you to the new subscribers that I've recently picked up. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, with winter time, there's not very much natural light during the day and, and that's what I use and we've had colds at our house in the holidays, but I really wanna make an effort to post more videos. Um, I really like doing it and I really enjoy the fact that other people like it too. You can hear if my voice sounds a little funny, it's because I've been getting over a cold. But anyway, today we're going to take a look at some of the Funko Snow White Funko Pop figures. They released several figures because of Snow White's 80th anniversary, so we're going to take a look at the few that I've picked up so far. I've picked up the Toys R Us exclusive Snow White in her regs outfit. That's what we often refer to it as, her regs outfit from the beginning of the movie. And this was a Toys R Us exclusive. So since I have her in my hand, we'll take a look at the box. We have the Snow White 80th anniversary logo there. To Snow White. We have the artwork of her in her first little rags or, or housemaid outfit. Sorry about the glare there. She's number 349. We have her cute artwork on the side. And they've used lots of, they've used like the background from that scene of the movie. It's really beautiful. Then on the back, we see the other figures from the line. And then we have this side of the box. Then I was only planning to pick up Dopey from the Seven Dwarves line. And I'm actually searching for the Chase version of Dopey where he's got his hat off and her, her little kiss mark on his forehead. But when I saw Happy in person, he just looked so, they, they captured the vintage colors perfectly and he just looked so cute that I couldn't resist him. I was also tempted by Bashful, but you know, I gotta watch my piggy bank. So I haven't picked up Bashful yet, but I just thought Happy was so cute. He's number 344. And again, we have the back showing the rest of the figures out of the line. And that side of his box. And then here we have the regular Snow White out of the regular line. Snow White in her traditional costume that she wears through most of the movie. Again, the same background here with her artwork, number 339. And here we have the rest of the figures. It doesn't show the Dopey Chase figure. I haven't had much chance to actually get out hunting for that, so hopefully I'll get lucky and pick him up. But anyway, I'm going to get these out of the box, and we'll be right back and take a closer look at them. Okay, we're back with our figures out of the box, and I am going to start with the Toys R Us exclusive Snow White in her rags outfit, even though they don't officially call it that. I don't know if you can pick up her blush on her cheeks, but she has some really nice blush. She's got her little blue bow on top of her hair. And the paint on this one is pretty good. Got the patches on the back of her dress. Now, I always used to think of her dress as brown tones, but it appears that it's more mauve berry tones with maybe a little brownish tint to it. She's got her little bird, the little white birds from the beginning of the movie. Now I do think the bird is supposed to be facing more forward, but when I purchased her at my local Toys R Us, they had about five or six of them, and she was the only one that both had a good paint job and didn't have extra dark marks or extra glue. So definitely if you're going to pick up this one in store, take a good look at them. They had gotten another batch in at my store, so they had quite a few after I purchased this one. So hopefully your store will have quite a few to, to check through also. And one of the most fun parts about her, she's got her little wooden shoes with the little pointed toes. So cute. And she does come with a stand, so make sure when you check your packaging that you don't forget the stand. And one peg is smaller than the other, so there is a definite uh, only one way to put this on her. And always be careful not to break off the pegs on the stands too. But anyway, I just love her. Snow White from the beginning of the movie in that outfit has always been my favorite version. There have been very, very few uh, character products over the years in this outfit, so this one's just really exciting. And as I said, the last time I was in my Toys R Us, they had quite a few of these available. Just check them over for errors. Okay, next we're going to take a look at Happy. Now they did do all seven dwarves, and I don't plan to pick up all of them because that's just too many and I don't have the space or the or the fun money to do that. But I just absolutely loved, they captured the vintage tones of his color so well. 
The expression on his face is just adorable. The paint job is so good on this one. He's got his little belt buckle up there, and his little shoes. Happy's always been one of my favorite dwarves. And he is just adorable. He doesn't have a stand, he doesn't need one. He stands well by himself. Um, his head does turn a little bit, but not much. But he just, they just captured him so well. I just couldn't resist him when I saw him. I found him at Target. And now we'll take a look. I found this Snow White at Toys R Us also. And they only had one when I picked her up. So thankfully she was one with a good toy, or with a good paint job. Uh, I've also seen them at Target. They did sell out there pretty quickly. But I do believe these are still in stores. So keep looking. But anyway, she's in her traditional red, blue, and yellow gown. And she's got the little blue bird. Her little red bow on top of her head. She's got some blushing also. And I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. I'm working with the last little light that's left at the end of the day. You can see her cute little shoe with the bow there that's kind of hidden under her skirt. Here's what they look like from the bottom. Now she does not have a stand. She does not need one since she has the wider skirt. They really captured all the folds in her skirt very well. I don't have the very, very first version of Snow White that they did several years ago, but she's much simpler than this one. Again, I managed to find one with a good paint job. She's got a little extra red there from the bow, but not too, too bad. So anyway, if you love Snow White as much as I do, this is a beautiful, beautiful collection. As I said, I'm hoping to add Dopey, um, maybe both the regular one and the Chase one. Bashful was awfully cute too, so I might pick up a couple more dwarves. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you have friends that like the same things you do, please pass on information about my channel. I'm gonna try to post a lot more videos. I'll be having some Hallmark ornaments and some exciting doll news coming up. So uh, thank you again for joining me. Join me again in the future and take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.